Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be tearing down and showing you guys uh, Leo, my cat, showing you guys this old um, Medeon Pentium 4 Windows XP uh, computer. And uh, uh, as you can see, um, it's a computer. I, I don't know why I said that, but... Uh, this was my parents' old uh, computer that they had in Germany when they lived there. And uh, there are a few videos about this specific or, uh, or this variant of computer online. There's uh, one video also touring it, but um, that's a pretty cool video. And uh, I actually do have the original box for this. I'm going to remove this for a second. So I do have the original box for this, which is, uh, makes this a little bit cooler. And uh, as you can see, it is the original box, although pretty rough shape. Um, so they shipped this box. They use this box to ship this computer to the USA. And uh, don't mind my squeaking chair, but uh, as you can see, the box is here, right here. Uh, you can see it comes with Microsoft Work Suite 2004. Uh, you can see at the top here, it's really in rough shape. And uh, there are a few, two boxes inside that have the, the store discs and accessories. So, box is empty. And uh, taking a look at this first box here. So let's take a look inside. We have um, some Medeon cables here. This is a multimedia, this computer is a, a multimedia computer, so of course it comes with all these component cables and stuff. Comes with a wireless keyboard and mouse. Um, so here's the mouse. Looks like this thing hasn't been used, but it has, I can see a little bit of wear here and some dirt on the bottom. And uh, as you can see, it's one of these wireless ball mouses. So, there we go. And uh, the keyboard, we have a palm rest here. So just a piece of plastic. And this keyboard here is also wireless. And um, I saw one of these keyboards at my local trash station. Um, it was a wired e-machines keyboard, but it looked almost identical, identical. So, uh, I I'm pretty sure these, uh, this works, uh, also mouse probably works as well, but, uh, I didn't have the correct components, or I'm just too lazy to set up the keyboard and mouse, but that's basically it for this box. And in here, I think we have the receiver for the keyboard and mouse, some USB thing, pretty sure this is the receiver right here, so the LED is probably telling you if it's on or if it's receiving a connection, and uh, we have component cables, I think so, and uh, serial ports, so it looks like Looks like it's an extender of some sort to turn it into the bigger serial port, or it could be a par parallel port. But we have serial uh, and another serial or parallel plugs into the serial port on the back of the computer. And uh, there's one last box that contains all the software and uh, recovery medium. So we can take a look at that. Now if you're wondering why there's a random graphics card in here, 
Um, this is the original graphics card that came with the computer, the ATI Radeon 9800 XL, 128 megabyte DDR SD RAM, so probably talking about the how much video RAM it has, but this graphics card has gone bad, unfortunately, so yeah, I have a few pictures of this one, uh, of this card in the computer, it does not look great, uh, I'll have to find it somewhere, but I know it was not very nice to use when the card was installed. So it might take me a while to find, but you can see it's pretty much uh, gone. I'll find it later, but uh, as you can see, we have some more multimedia stuff here. So we have this uh, cable, have a random cable, who knows what that's for. We have a modem cable, this probably connects to the computer. Another multimedia cable, this looks like it's for audio and video. Here's a, another modem cable and a modem cable. Nope, this is an ethernet cable here. So, and here is a driver disc that I made for the replacement card that I put in here. And I forgot to mention, this is a Medion MT6 multimedia PC. So the replacement card in here is an NVIDIA GeForce 6200. So, yeah, that card has DVI on it, so it's pretty cool. And uh, here's the Microsoft Work Suite 2004. And uh, as you can see, this disc is pretty scratched up. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, you can see at this angle. It's pretty scratched. And I was only able to install this on a Dell Inspiron. That's the only computer that can even read the disc. And uh, here we have the Medion Recovery CD-ROM. I've used this disc a lot with uh, some random laptops when I didn't have a Windows XP uh, English version installer. Here's the driver disc and application installer. This disc is also damaged to the point where it's unable to read it. And uh, I think I know why. There's this scratch here and uh, you can see this disc has been inside this uh, CD holder for a long time. So the adhesive must have damaged it. I don't know how. And uh, here is the receipt. This is an Aldi. This was bought from an Aldi. So as you can see here, it's from an Aldi uh, computer. And uh, as you can see here, um, this uh, multimedia entertainment PC, Titanium, see the model here, and uh, some other thing was bought with it. So this is the price for the computer, this is the price for the other thing, and of course it's in uh, this currency, I forgot what it's called. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, the receipt. It also comes with the receipt staple to it, but... It's so faded that you can barely read anything on it, but uh, <laughs> I can still see something on it. And uh, here's the just a standard Windows XP welcome thing, Windows XP Home. So it just tells you about Windows XP, except it has a the Medion branding on it. So just. Standard Windows XP booklet. Just kind of get it into the plastic thing. Okay. And uh, here's the paper for the remote control, which I do not have. Don't know where that went. 
probably threw away. My parents probably threw it away. And uh, here is the wireless keyboard and mouse control thing. Wireless keyboard and mouse manual. You have a um, registration card, I think. So here we have a, I don't know what this says, but probably accessories for PC. I don't know that you can get for PC. So um, partition magic, drive image seven, and uh, security suite. So probably included an antivirus. But uh, I don't think my parents bought any of these. So what is this? Oh, it just tells you about what the computer has. Yep. So information. I guess I'm guessing this book tells you about um, the operating system and where to find help in it. Remedion stuff. And uh, here is quick installation. So this is just telling you about the ports it has. So you can see we have, um, uh, tells you where the video ports are, where the USB ports are, uh, where to plug your printer into. So all sorts of stuff. And there's actually an English side to this. Yep, connect the, connecting the modem. So this is the English side. This is the German side. And uh, here's the big, uh, big boy here, the manual. Multimedia Home Entertainment Design Center. So, other manual here telling you where all the ports are. And uh, this just tells you all about the computer and also includes um, how to keep your back straight when using the computer. So that's helpful, I guess. And uh, there's a few more things I want to go through before we get to actually tearing down this computer. So let's just uh, get all the paper back here. The CD. And uh, actually found this PC in my utility closet. Uh, like in 2000 and during the pandemic and uh, the graphics card was removed from it for some reason and uh, it wasn't until I found it like a year later when I started uh, to tinker with this computer and that's when I found the graphics card along with another PCI graphics card uh, for my parents old Windows 98 PC inside a small plastic box and here we have a CompUSA power supply. Just kidding. So this has the old power supply for this computer because since this was bought in Germany, this had a 240 volt only ATX power supply. So as you can see, this is the power supply we saw in the pictures. So my parents bought a new power supply, new switching power supply, and uh swapped it so input 230 volts only so can, as you can see there's a fan on the top you can see all the dust in there so yeah it's just a power supply can't use this in the usa and just get this power supply into this bubble wrap bag and uh now it's time to get to the monitor and uh so let's just pack this away here so this is the phillips monitor that i you've seen in a few videos and this monitor is currently in my closet so Here's the monitor. Oh my god, okay, this stand sucks pretty bad. So wobbly. But um this 
is a monitor that you've seen in a couple of my videos. And um, it's a, a Philips um, 15150S4 15 inch color LCD monitor. And um, it's a embedded switching power supply. So um, there's an embedded switching power supply. And this box is actually empty because since I have the monitor um, out here and uh, a printer, of course, my parents needed a printer, so they kept it for some reason, even though it doesn't work in the U.S., but we, they had a printer and uh, let's just take it out real quick. And uh, it's just... Canon printer, so as you can see here, this only takes 240 volts, so can't use it in the U.S. And uh, fax probably accepts a uh, modem cable as connection for over the internet, but it's just a printer. There's not much to it, and. Um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. And I forgot screwdrivers. Okay. So, but anyways, let's uh, get this computer open. But before we do that, let's uh, take a look around it. So on the back here, you can see the uh, CompUSA power supply. So switching power supply with a switch on it. You've got uh, PS2 ports, keyboard and mouse. Um, we've got serial printer port, all nicely labeled, got, um, some audio stuff here, four USB ports, including one Firewire port, Ethernet, some audio ports, these are, uh, the component Ethernet, uh, not Ethernet, uh, sound audio, uh, so we've got component audio and, uh, just regular audio here. Uh, line in, so that's interesting. And the replacement graphics card, so we've got a, a VGA port, DVI port, and an S video port. And I think the original card had a had S video component and two VGA ports. So of course it was a uh, what was it? multimedia based uh, card so we've got modem and uh, some more networking components there we've got a uh, Medion sticker here we've got Medion product key this key is uh, not valid so what happened is that uh, when I first turned this thing on uh, like for the first time in like what 10 years 5 years Ten, I think 10 years, 9 years, or something. Um, the classic theme was broke was broken, so I used a recovery disk to reinstall Windows XP, and it downgraded it to uh, Service Pack 1. So I got Service Pack 2 for uh, the German version of Windows XP, and then Windows wasn't activated anymore, so I had to activate it over the phone. So this OEM product key does not work, or is not, is useless. But as you can see, it says model median uh, MT6 and type median MT uh, 223A input max 230 to 240. Well, that's not accurate anymore because we have a switching power supply now. 3 amps, 50 hertz, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've got the stickers. You can go to the side here. I don't know why it says Air XL. Is it like... I don't know what it means, but... See, we have some vents here. We have a vent at the top. Oh my... Okay, this thing sucks. So, on the front here, we have a... Uh, my cat, Leo. Don't play with that. Okay. 
So, we have a DVD rewritable drive, have a DVD ROM drive, we have a Connect XL, and uh, you can see we have Red Dot Design Award Winner 2003, uh, Intel Pentium 4 HT, and uh, Windows XP stickers. So, as you can see, we have this fun little door here. There is an option for a floppy drive, but of course, uh, I'm guessing by now the computers started to not ship with floppy drives. But um, we, we we can see we uh, we I you can see here we have uh, two FireWire ports, Mini FireWire, I think that's what it's called, and a standard FireWire, three USB, uh, some multimedia component and S video, We've got audio, We've got some. Compact flash, memory stick, smart media, SD and MMC readers here. So um, that's basically it. Besides the power button here, which uh, can get stuck, as you can see there. And uh, of course, the Medium logo. And uh, Leo is just going crazy. Okay, so I got my screwdrivers. And uh, as you can see from the last... Uh, scene there or footage the camera cut out right as uh as i was gonna what was i gonna say right as i was gonna do some uh right as i was gonna go get the screwdriver so uh perfect timing i guess but uh let's just open it up now and uh it's kind of hard to open and uh I wanted to mention that there used to be screws here, but when it, when it got shipped to America, they checked uh, inside for bombs. So that's what my parents told me. I'm not sure if that's 100% true, but uh, as you can see, the screws are completely missing. But I'm not sure what my parents said, but they uh, said something about them opening it up and checking it. I don't know why. Um, but, uh... At least the computer still works, so I guess that's something good. So, let's get this pretty sturdy panel off. It's really sturdy. And uh, here is the inside of the Medion MT6 Multimedia PC. So as you can see, we have this little cup thing here that uh, goes straight directly to the vent. So to pull, to pull in fresh air. Actually, no. I forgot what it was. Um, what was it? I forgot the word. But, uh... Yep. You know, to pull in fresh air or, um... Yeah. So, or the air can come out. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh... As you can see here, we have a black IDE cable. And, a uh, <laughs> That's because um the original IDE cable went bad. So I think I took the hard drive out and uh the IDE cable got damaged. But uh anyways, let's uh uh look at these uh cards here and uh as you can see one of them of course is the video card. I've actually never taken this computer fully apart before, besides replacing the thermal paste on the CPU and uh, just replacing the graphics card. That's all I did was just uh, that. So I don't know where that screw went, but uh, let's just get the card out. But I'm at least the. Uh, Card. There we go. So uh, here's our NVIDIA card. And uh, where did that screw go? Where'd all that red come from? Some red marker on my hand. Who knows? But uh, let's get the other card out. Looks like the one screw is also missing here, right there. So, 
We have some PCI thing here. So uh, here's the TV tuner thing. So you can disconnect these cables. So you can disconnect this one here too. Connect that to the card. So uh, there's the screw up there. Uh, here's a screw down here. And uh, so now that all the cards are out, we can uh, get the hard drive out. This is a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Actually, I think I know another reason why this was opened up. Um, to check to to check for uh, any like smuggling of anything, they do that. And uh, 160 gigabytes. So this has um, yeah, this drive is in the best condition, but uh, it works. It's an IDE drive. I don't have many uh, many IDE drives around. So here's the IDE cable from ASUS. Uh, let's just remove this. This was a this is a brand new IDE cable. So it came in sealed in plastic. So uh, the hard drive is out. I wonder if there's a way to even get this uh, caddy out. I don't think there's a way to do that. But uh, anyways, the another thing I did here was upgrade the memory. So I wonder how much this has. So this one looks like the one I upgraded it with. And, uh, here is uh, the one I upgraded it. So let's take a look at the memory here. So I think it's stuck. Let's get it out. It's not coming out. There we go. And uh, we have a Fujitsu thing here. I think it's uh, Fujitsu Siemens. I, th I know it sounds weird. But I think Fujitsu has a owns the Siemens brand. And uh, here's the other memory module. So these uh, this thing originally came with 512 megabytes of uh, RAM, which is a uh, nice. <laughs> Looks like we've uh, got a. This is interesting. Looks like we've got a. Uh, some sort of networking card here for something. This doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi, so I don't know what it's for. Let's just get it out. So, Medion part number so mini PCI. Don't know what this is. Interesting. But uh, let's disconnect these connectors here. Let's disconnect uh, some of the foot panel stuff. And uh, as you can see, we have the ATX switch and a uh, power LED. That's the only things here that are connected to the front panel uh, power uh, stuff and LEDs. So let's uh, disconnect some more cables here, including the power supply, the other IDE cable. So this is a pretty compact uh, case because of that. Uh, I can't say because of that. It's just pretty compact in general. Uh, or it's just this thing is uh, here, taking up a lot of space, but uh, 
So it looks like basically everything is disconnected. Can uh get the heatsink off, and uh, since this has been repasted the com the CPU. I'm not going to wipe the paste off because I don't have any more thermal paste, unfortunately. And, uh, looks like my thermal paste application wasn't too bad. Except a little bit, I, I might have put a little bit too much, some of it spilled over the side. But, uh, it's Pentium 4. I actually get a cut? No, I did not. Okay. So, I think it's about time we should get this uh, motherboard out. So, let's just start unscrewing. Uh, I did think about making a video on this computer like a while back, but I just didn't want to take it apart because um, I can't find any of these computers in the United States. I can find a few of them, but uh, very little of this uh, computer generation, Windows XP era. Found a few laptops and uh, desktops, but that's basically it. I can't find anything else. So, yeah. But, now I'm finally making a video on it. And, uh, well, I've already got enough experience of accidentally destroying computers, so, by doing the wrong thing. And, uh, I can see this motherboard has the Medion branding on it, which is nice. So, is the motherboard loose yet? Yup, it is. So... Uh, let's just get this board out. Oh, looks like there's uh, some rubber things here holding the board. Well, that hurt. But um, if I can get the this thing out, that would be nice. Thank you. Lot of cables tangled up in here. So ah, it's a pretty tight space in here. So I don't blame the cables getting tangled up. So. Motherboard, finally out. You can see a PC speaker on here. But, um, looks like no bulging caps or anything. Motherboard looks fantastic. So, this looks like an Intel motherboard. Just with the Medion branding. And, uh, there's a heatsink on here. Right here might be some integrated thing. I'm not going to take that off right now. But um, let's get the Pentium 4 out. If I can. So, it's just a Pentium 4. Let me see if I can find anything about the Pentium 4 on here. Um, 800 megahertz. Front side bus Pentium 4 hyper threading technology. So, that's what the HT stands for, I think. But uh, let's get the CPU back in here and close the CPU door. But, uh, yep, I'm glad the Pentium, the CPU specs were on the box. I've got thermal paste all over my hands. Okay, so um, camera cut out again. Well, since my iPad storage is almost full, that's probably why. And, uh, 
check if the CPU is seated and all the way. So uh, let's get the the motherboard back in here. I'm not gonna take a look at any anything else. It's pretty much just gonna be standard stuff that you see in a normal computer. So uh, yeah, it's not much else besides um, the front panel stuff. And I can't get the motherboard in now. I'm gonna take some fiddling around before I can get it in proper, seated in properly. So, um, can I get it in here? Because if I could, then that would be great. Oh, okay. Not going great. Okay. Uh, okay. So, motherboard is finally back in the computer. And uh, let's start screwing it in. Oh great, some of the screws are mixed up. That's fine. Um, let's get the one all the way up here. It's gonna be the most difficult one. That's the screws for the hard drive. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with those. Okay. Oh. Okay. Where were those screws? Okay, so. Oh. Yeah. I hate it when screws do that. Oh, it just got stuck in the casing. Okay, don't no worries. I can get that out as long as I can get this screw down here in. Just fell down there. Okay, I'm gonna need a magnet to get that screw out. And luckily, I do have a magnet for my iFixit kit. Magnet saved, and not magnet saved, a uh, screw is saved from the magnet. So, motherboard is screwed in. Let's uh, start connecting everything. So, let's uh, connect some of this stuff down here. And where does this go? Okay, so this, oh, okay, so this goes here. Yep, there we go. Let's uh, connect this stuff down here. And then we can turn this thing on and explore it a little bit. And since this is still technically the OEM installation of Windows XP, still has all the Medion software that originally came with the PC. So we've got power LED. Don't want to bend any of the pins. Ah. Okay. And uh, let's just connect it this way. Okay. And uh, 
Let's connect this IDE cable. For the DVD ROM, uh, not the DVD writer, and uh, let's get this weird networking whatever it is card installed back into the computer. So everything is uh, installed. Let's connect it. Here. There we go. And uh, now it's time to reinstall the heatsink. Our cooler, whatever you want to call it. Fan connected. Uh, this stand actually sucks. It's so bad. It was fine at first, but then over time it just kind of started to break. But uh, anyways. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Just please get the heatsink installed now. Well, can I get the heatsink installed now? Hurts. Heatsink is installed. So, I'm gonna only install the two 512 megabytes uh, RAM back just to keep it stock and factory. So, okay, can I please get the memory installed? Ah. Why is it so hard to do, on, do it on this computer? There we go. There we go, okay. See, it wasn't hard at all. And, uh, there we go, memory is installed. So, now we have the original 512 megabytes uh, reinstalled back. Let's now get the hard drive in. So, Seagate Barracuda. And uh, this computer, I think, was bought in 2003. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty old. So, let's, uh, get this drive screwed in. And, uh, yep. Let's get the IDE cable in, so it's a tight fit. Oh yeah, that's a real tight fit. Um, let's just get it in. I'll align it on one side and then it'll be aligned on the other side. Oh my god. I should actually get a real camera someday not just use my iPad to film everything. Oh my god. It's IDE cable. You know, it would be easier to, to just remove the hard drive, but I'm too lazy to do that. Oh my. Stay there, okay. Okay, I need to remove the hard drive to get the IDE cable in. Okay. 
Okay, hard drive is out. What? Oh, okay, I get it. Now I know why. What if the pins is bent on here? So now it should install. If I install it that way. No, why did it go in that way first? Haha. -ha. That was so incredibly easy, I can't believe it. Um, it wasn't easy. Okay. And, uh, let's align it. And screw it in. And, uh, there is an option to install a second hard drive, but you just need to install that uh, hard drive as slave, as a slave drive, so that uh, computer doesn't get confused and not boot to anything. And uh, we'll boot into the BIOS and then boot into Windows. Uh, there we go. Connect the hard drive, and then the DVD-ROM drive. It's a really tight fit, but uh, I think I can get it connected. Okay, I need to disconnect this, and then I can connect this. Can I get it connected? Come on. It's just connecting an IDE cable. Okay, it's in. Uh huh. So, it's a tight fit, but it's gonna work. So now I can get the TV tuner card and modem in. So I just gotta align the card. There we go. And oh, not. I gotta remove it so that I can connect connect it to the motherboard. These small cables. So I gotta connect this red one first. Then I can connect the yellow one. Oh, sorry, you guys couldn't see it. Okay. Connect the yellow one. And now I can screw the card in. Now it's time to connect the AGP card, graphics card. There we go. And then uh, secure it. Okay. There we go. Now it's not going to come out. Ah, wait. Okay. Everything is back together. Let's hook it up and see if it still works. And, uh, hopefully it does. I'm not gonna put on the side cover just yet. Oh my, okay. Okay, you stay here. While I hook everything up. 
just realized I was talking to an iPad. All right, that's right. Um, okay, I will be right back. I got the cables. So, let's plug everything in. Go. Screw one of those in. So, get the monitor. Connect that to the computer. And uh, let's get the other power cable. So, that's installed. Or that's connected. So and get computer connected. I've got a PS2 mouse and keyboard just so that we don't have to fiddle around with the wireless ones. Okay. okay. Oh. Oops. Okay. Keyboard and the mouse. Oh, it's tangled. So, just untangle this. Um, okay, let's get it through this, and uh, okay, slowly getting untangled. So this is gonna be really quick, and uh, okay, it's never on. It was never tangled. So. Connect that, and uh, let's turn it on. That's not good. Oh, it's not even connected to the wall. I'm an idiot. There we go. As you can see, it's turning on. And uh, let's go to the BIOS. So as you can see, it's a Phoenix, uh, I think it's, yeah, Phoenix Award BIOS. So it's just your standard Award BIOS. Um, it's uh, advanced BIOS features. So it's just for <laughs> the stuff, boot up floppy seek. Um, just no floppy drive, so that's of course disabled, so. Why is my chair not moving? Okay. My chair was running over my laptop charger. OS select for DRAM. OS 2. None OS 2. I don't know what that is, but um let's exit and boot into Windows XP. So it's gonna take a second. And since I first powered this thing up, the hard drive has gotten louder and slower, so... Might take a while. Or a minute or two. And this computer was a lot more dusty when I first took it out of the utility room uh, that it was stored in. So, what you saw during uh, the teardown was not as bad as it was originally. So, um, these are my parents' user accounts. I don't know what this user account is, but I'm going to log into mine that I set up here. As you can see, of course, it's a German version of Windows XP. And it's going to take a second to load everything in here. And uh, as you can see, the Luna theme is working so, because I did a Windows repair. But, um. Let's 
gonna take a second to load everything. I'm not sure if you can hear the hard drive. Just how it sounds. It's still loading. Still loading a lot of stuff. But, uh... information about the PC and I can I I do I cannot understand German I'm just uh, saying what it from what it looks like it's saying so wish I had a pair of speakers down here but uh information about the PC so just AOL stuff here and uh Oh, there is wireless LAN. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, so there is wireless LAN here, from what I see. And, uh, as you can see, AOL thing here, media on um, wallpaper. Let's go to properties here. We actually have a range of media on wallpapers. Here's an old one. There's media on two, the one without the AOL stuff. Here's a slightly different one. Another diff slightly different one. I think that's the same one, except just a smaller. And uh, here's some different wallpapers. So, digital future is now. So, we've got pictures of the computer at different angles. So, we've got uh, products of innovation. So, we've got a lot more wallpapers. Got this one. I do not like this wallpaper for some reason. This one, you can barely see the R on the registered, on the, uh, on the logo there. Products of innovation, so you can see the computer there. And uh, another media on wallpaper, so it's sort of like Matrix thing. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys watched the movie, I haven't. But you can see all the random uh, zeros and ones here. This kind of reminds me of it. And uh, here we just have standard media, uh, not media, just standard Windows wallpapers. So we've got uh, Windows XP. We've got uh, this thing. Uh, we we have this and uh, this. So interesting stuff. Uh, we have sort of like a flower. I don't know what that says. But uh, yeah, we have media on wallpapers. And uh, what is this? Who knows what that is? But uh, let's go back to the original wallpaper here. And uh, as you can see, we have some programs here uh, that are, that did not come with it, like Logitech Image Studio. Some of these my parents installed after um, they got it. But Media on Power Cinema. So looks like just a demonstration of how to open the program. We have uh, Windows Media Planner, uh, Player. So. We have AOL, Linksys Wireless Manager. It's actually connected to this compact PC behind it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a keyboard for it right there. Uh, we have Microsoft Work Suite 2004, Firefox, I installed that. And we have uh, games. So we have 3D Pinball and uh, stuff like that, Internet Explorer. So, um,. Yeah, I think this is a pretty cool computer. 
And uh, I think there's a recovery partition on here. Recover, backup, whatever it is. So you can see all of these uh, things here for the compact flash and SD card stuff. But we uh, also have the CD and DVD drives. And uh, if I could, if I connected this to the internet, I could, you know, do basic Google searches. Uh, we have Google Earth here, an old version of it. This was definitely, uh, yeah, 2005. This was not, did the, this did not come with the computer. But uh, just kind of cool. We're unable to, okay, so it requires internet, but uh, you can see stars and stuff. Interesting. Uh, let's see what media and stuff we can find on here. I'm not sure, macro media. That's definitely not medium. Connect player. Oh, this is a. Nope. Instant copy. So, medium. This is just uh, stuff how to open up programs. Tells you to go to the start menu and stuff. So, I think this thing comes with an antivirus. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, this just, uh, documents and stuff. Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Office Tools. Macro media. So AOL 8.0 comeback. I don't know what uh, this is. Just auto start something. So, what is this? I think it's just telling you how to open up AOL. Yup. But uh, still pretty cool. Tells you how to set up a. AOL and stuff, but the rest of this is just stuff that was uh, installed afterwards. But uh, let's go to properties, uh, system properties. As you can see, we have uh, the media on branding, have our product ID registered to my dad. Um, there would have been an OEM thing here, but of course that's gone. So. Home Edition, Medion Professional Computer, Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz, 512 megabytes of RAM, have the support stuff, hardware, device manager, and uh, computer name is Mercury, interesting. So we have uh, NVIDIA GeForce. So, yep, yeah, we do have a wireless adapter. It's just that it's too old, so can't use that. Uh, have stuff. But uh, that's basically it from what I see. We have uh, some stuff. But, uh, yeah, not much uh, to explore. No antivirus. This stuff was probably uninstalled, the bloatware, honestly. But, uh, it's just Microsoft Office Tools, Visual Studio.net 2003. But, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, can't believe it's almost 2023. It's, uh, December 31st. So tomorrow's going to be January 1st, so um, it's going to be a new year soon, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, in 2023.